when you love something and you're devoted to it, discipline is easy, am I right? So bring that love and devotion to what you do. It will drive your discipline. No one has to tell Tom Brady to go work out. He has a love and devotion to getting better. And your love and devotion will drive your discipline. That means you have to show up every day. You've got to put the effort in. You've got to be willing to do it when you're tired, when you're hurt, when it's not cool. And you've got to be willing to do that way longer than anybody else is willing to do it. I had to start looking at my life differently. I started going to work earlier. I started being the last one to leave there. I started working harder than anybody else. The other guys could not. Why would you work so hard, Les? I don't understand. You don't have to. I deserve better than this. This is something I have got to do because I've made a different kind of commitment with my life. My life deserves my developing this what I do well and becoming the best at it and mastering myself and seeing what I have within me. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, do it with everything that you have. Develop the habit of giving more than what you're paid for. There are no shortcuts to greatness. To be great, you gotta be all in. To be great, you gotta get 120. To be great, you gotta put more effort every single time, every single down. To be great, there are no days off. All men are created equal. Some just work harder. Some of us just grind. Some of us don't make excuses. Some of us don't surrender. Some of us don't give up and give in. What we do with the pressure is we say, I gotta take it, and I gotta take it to another level. Elite achievers will perform and succeed and win and dominate no matter what. We all live life. Some of us, we get more out of it. You might have to work a little harder. You might have to start at the bottom, but I'm telling you, you can have whatever you like. You just gotta work a little harder. You just gotta press a little deeper. When other folk are having a good time, you've got to have the strength of character to concentrate, to read, to digest information. Good intentions have kept people broke. Good intentions have stopped people from reaching their goals. Good intentions won't cut it. No more good intentions. No more only execution. No more I meant to. No more I should have. No more I wanted to. No more execution. Get up. Act like you playing basketball. Act like you playing football. Go on that dog on classroom. Compete. Many of you have lost your competitive edge. Get your competitive edge back. Compete. You don't stop when you're tired. You stop when you're done. You stop when you complete it, when you execute it. Successful people love the experience of not feeling like doing shit, but then going and kicking anyway. They understand that those are the real victories in life. They understand that it's easy to do when you feel like doing it. But they also understand that the real glory is earned when your heart is not into something, but your mind tells you, you, I'm going to do this anyway, and does it. That's where people separate themselves from the pack. That's where people earn the right to success. They earn the money. They earn the life. They earn the relationship. They earn the body in those little moments where they don't want to do what they need to do but move forward regardless of how they feel. That's what champions know, champions understand, and champions thrive on. Every single day of your life, you have a chance to get further ahead of those people you're competing with. You have a chance to push yourself to do better. Outperform yourself in anyone you gotta go up against. Every day is a new opportunity, a fresh battlefield where you can prove your capabilities. It's not just about beating the others. It's about conquering your own limits and setting new records for yourself. You need to work harder. You need to study harder. You need to grind more. You don't become number one by taking days off. You don't become number one by chilling on the weekends or holidays. You become number one by doing what all the other people aren't willing to. It's about the extra mile, the additional hour, the second workout. It's about that relentless pursuit of excellence that never settles for good enough. And that takes discipline in yourself to do all that you don't want to do. But know you need to. You got to get up when you're feeling tired and feeling weak and get yourself moving forward toward the mission at hand. 
It's about conquering the inner laziness, the voice that begs for just one more hour of sleep, one more episode, one more moment of ease. That's the voice of mediocrity, and you've got to crush it under your determination. The universe doesn't give a f that it's the holidays, that it's New Year's Eve, that it's the weekend. Time will keep moving, and the world will keep moving. So that means you got to keep moving too. You don't have time to stop. You don't have time to slack off. Time is the one resource you can't get back. And every second you waste is a second loss from your journey to greatness. The clock is ticking and it's ruthless. Success isn't gonna wait for you. You gotta chase it down. If you're stopping and starting constantly, you won't ever catch it. You gotta be consistent. You gotta never let your foot off the gas. Never stop, never quit. It's about that relentless pursuit, that unwavering focus, that unstoppable drive that separates the legends from the masses. All the average people in the world are gonna think you're crazy. They're gonna call you a psycho and not understand why you're working so hard. They won't get it, and they don't have to get it. The only one who needs to know why you're putting in this work is you. Let them talk, let them wonder, let them doubt. You're not here to make sense to them. You're here to make miracles for yourself. So when your competitors are sleeping, you're working. When they're out having a good time, you're working. Because when you do this, while they're dreaming about how great it'd be to be number one, you'll be living it. Your dedication is what turns dreams into reality. You gotta have the strength of character to read, to digest information, to work on yourself, to work on your craft, on your abilities, on your ideas consistently without letting yourself slide into complacency, holding a higher standard than anyone else is willing to. Doing things to the very best of your ability. It's about that relentless self-improvement, the constant striving for knowledge and mastery that sets you apart. You have no idea how great you could become if you tried your hardest. You could become 10 times, 20 times better than you are right now. Your potential is unlimited when you're willing to do whatever it takes. Imagine the heights you could reach if you pushed yourself to your absolute limits. The only thing standing between you and your utmost potential is the amount of work you're willing to put in. So you gotta go all in and witness the transformation of yourself. You may not have that natural talent or a gift for creativity or intellect. You might not have any of those things. But what you lack in those things, you can make up with effort. You can decide that you will outwork everyone. When you need to do 45 minutes on the treadmill, you do 46. When it's supposed to be 20 phone calls, you make 21. When it's supposed to be an eight hour work day, you work nine. Whatever it is, you always do one more. And what that does is it makes you eventually think you're doing things other people aren't willing to do so you should get things other people aren't gonna get you've got to understand it's not about what you were born with it's not about what you were given or where you started or even where you're going it is entirely about what you plant at the center of your soul how hard you're willing to go after something how much focus you're willing to put in your life and how often you come back to that level of intensity for who you want to be but you got to understand kinda is lethal there's so many kinda people most people kinda want a career change they kinda want to get straight A's, they kind of want to get in shape, but if you only kind of want something, then you're only going to kind of get the results you want. You can't just kind of want that thing. you got to want it with every part of your being. Will you struggle? Yeah, you're going to struggle. There's no way around it. You're going to fall so many times, but who's counting? If you want to make it to the top of your field, top of your class, top of your industry, then there's going to be sharp ridges that must be stepped over. There's going to be times you get stressed and things you get depressed over. But let me tell you something. And struggle and criticisms are prerequisites for greatness. That is the law of this universe and no one escapes it because pain is life. But you can choose what type, either the pain on the road to success or the pain of being haunted with regret. If you want to win anything in life, there's one battle you got to win first. The battle inside your mind. Real struggle ain't external sh** that's all around you. It ain't the test you gotta pass, the race you gotta win, the weight you gotta lift, the business you gotta start or the bills you gotta pay. The real battle is in your mind. Your mind is a battleground and the real enemy is after one thing, your mind. It's out to worry you, stress you out, break you down. It's out to make you quit. It's out to make you think you can't get up. Make you give up on your dreams. The fight you gotta win is in your mind. Get to work. 
every day start training your mind to believe that you can do anything you want to do and be anyone you want to be. Stay focused, stay motivated, but most importantly, stay strong. If the enemy within is in check, then the enemy outside can do you no harm. If you want to live your best life, you got to do me a huge favor. You got to watch them choices you make. People make bad choices. They wake up and make another bad choice. Then they make another bad choice. Now they got a habit of bad choices, right? And they like, how do I get here? Choices? You trying to get to certain places, but you ain't making the choices that's going to get you there. You all in your feelings. No alarm clock needed. My passion wakes me up. My drive wakes me up. My determination wakes me up. My ability to be, do, and have whatever I want, it wakes me up. What wakes you up? What drives you? Why are you playing this game? You got to begin with the end in mind. So whatever your dream or your goal is, you got to wake up every day to it. You got to go to bed with it. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? You got to read stuff. The music you listen to, everything you do, got to pour into that dream. I didn't get to where I am. Well, I didn't get here being lazy. I didn't get here binge watching TV. I didn't get here taking days off. I personally know what it takes. One day I made a decision that enough is enough. I'm tired of being average. I'm tired. I'm tired of being good. I'm tired. I made a decision. Enough is enough. It's showtime. If you're a student in school, try harder, study harder, and focus more. You got this. That athlete that's out there, and you're not training how you're supposed to, go 10, 15 minutes harder, five, 10 more reps. You have to work when no one's watching. You have to train like there is no tomorrow, day after day after day. You can improve just a little bit every day. That's the effort you need to be great. That's the sacrifice that you have to put in in order for you to get to the next level that you need to be at. In order for you to go from one level to the next level, in order for any woman to transition, for any man to transition, the thing that they want must be greater than the thing they currently at. You only transition from one level to the next when you tie to the level you are. You don't belong at the bottom, and it's time for you to get your butt from down there. It's time for you to stop being comfortable at the bottom. Get your up and get to where you're supposed to be. Get where you belong. Do what you're supposed to do. Live like you're supposed to live. You got to keep every single day of my life. I feel like giving 120. Every single day. I don't have days where I don't feel like it. Why? Because I'm counting on me. My wife's counting on me. My son's counting on me. I don't have days to waste. And your grind has to match your dream. You can't play as much as you used to play. You can't go where you used to go. You can't do what you used to do. And now you gotta pick your grind up. And I need you to wake up every single day and I need you to use your 24 hours like you've never used it before. Whatever you do, don't lose your head. Pull your feelings out of it. Your emotions, your negative thoughts, your insecurities, your vulnerabilities. Do not allow these things to control the trajectory of your life. If you are going to birth your dream, your calling, your passion, you can't draw back when life gets tough. You've got to stand up to it and push. Push through it. Tragedy and trials come to everybody. Only the strong survive. The stuff you've been through, don't pay it any attention. If you start something, you're going to finish it. Make a way. Figure it out, adjust, pivot, have a certain level of mental agility, and get it done. Keep going. Press on. This too shall pass. There's nothing that we come up against that's stronger than anything that we possess internally. The world is not giving you what you deserve because you don't think you deserve it. And you need to change your mindset. Why are you timid? Why are you passive? Why are you afraid? There are those of you in this room, you don't need another book. You don't need another course. There are those of you in this room, you don't need to do anything else. You are enough as you are. You just don't believe in yourself in the way you're supposed to believe in yourself. And it comes out when you're talking to other people. They sense that you don't believe it. 
they feel it. You can feel when somebody's not committed, when they're not all in, when they're not dedicated. And there's another level you get to when you go all in. When you come to an engagement and you speak as if you're making the most you've ever made when you're not. When you get up at six, when you don't have to. And if you change your mindset, mindset is important because we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we use to create them. You better change the way you think. All you need to do is change your thinking and you change your world. You don't need to change anything else. Don't complain. Don't murmur. Don't talk negative. Average people talk normal. Average people talk problem. The greats talk solutions. Average people use their time to whine and complain. But I used to be average. And when I would talk like that, I ended up getting kicked out of school. And while I talked like that, I was broke. And then one day I woke up and said, Eric, nobody's coming to save you. Nobody's coming to get you, but you can go to the library and get yourself. You can start reading books. You can go back to school. You can start coming to conferences. There's something that you could do that would radically change your life. Somebody could take the hand you've been dealt and win with it. Same circumstances, same ideas. They would do it through what they thought about your life. But we don't need somebody because we got you. You are the one. I haven't had my best idea yet. I haven't had my most creative moment yet. I haven't produced my dream yet. I don't care whether you're 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. There's something down inside of you that's still kicking inside of you that wants to get out and it wants to live. I want you to leave this room and embrace challenges. Stop quitting and giving up. If it's hard, keep on coming back again. If folk oppose you, come on back again. Run out of money, come back again. Keep working on yourself. Keep talking to yourself. In many start, but few finish. Few people finish because they say, well, it was hard, and they stop. They take that as a stop sign as opposed to a growth sign. They look at that as something to block them as opposed to an opportunity for them to grow, to become more creative. All roads to success, you got to go through pain. When you travel down success, you got to go through the road of pain, baby. If you think it's going to be easy, if you think you're just going to get that business started without any trials or trials, forget about it. Don't even try to be successful. It's a wrap. It's not going to be easy, but I want you to feel that pain going through your body. And as pain leaves your body, guess what's going to take its place? Success. And so you got to change your mindset. We got to stop looking at pain as if it's something negative. No pain, no gain. Confidence makes you run toward the fight. When you don't have confidence, it makes you run away. So it doesn't matter how you look. It doesn't matter the degrees you have. It doesn't matter how much money. It doesn't matter. Without confidence, there are certain things in this earthly realm you can't pull off. When you have fear, fear makes you speak in a certain way. When you have fear, but when you have faith, you don't need to count. When you have faith, you don't need to go outside. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many horses. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many armies. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many swords. When you have faith, you don't need to count no shields. When you have faith, you don't need to look at the parameter and see how many are When you have faith, you just believe and it'll happen. As you're going through your go-through, you ready to quit, you ready to give up, you ready to give in, because it don't look like you think it should look. And I'm telling you right now, because I care about you. I'm telling you right now, because I've been there, I've done that. You've been in it for three years and you about to quit. Oh, you've been doing it for five years and it don't look like you think. You put all your money in it. You put all your time in it. People are looking at you crazy. Five years you've invested. Oh, you put too much in it to quit now. Oh. It doesn't look like you think. You didn't get the grades you thought you were going to get. So maybe I'm not meant to be a lawyer. Oh, most people retreat during the pain. Are broken by the pain. But gladiators, gladiators approach the pain, embrace the pain, and dominate the pain. The question is, are you a gladiator? I guarantee you, if you can outlast pain, if you can get through that pain, if you can outlast that discomfort, I guarantee you, baby, on the other side of it is success. Here's what I want to say to you. For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. No one could have convinced me by holding on, by continuing to push forward, by continuing to run toward my dream, that one day I can live my dream. And some of you are already there. Well, you don't know how you're going to make this happen, but you just feel within yourself some way, somehow, 
I'm going to make it happen. Oh, you're being unrealistic. You're dreaming. Yes, I am dreaming. See, a lot of people have stopped dreaming. Don't you stop dreaming. A lot of people have given up. A lot of people don't even want and ask life for anything because they don't believe they can have it. No, don't allow those negative thoughts to take over your mind. When all hell is breaking loose in your life, you got to tell yourself, no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. The fulfillment of your dreams lies within you and you alone. When you understand and accept this, then nothing or no one can deny you greatness. The power to succeed or fail is yours and no one can take that away from you. See, when you acknowledge it, hey, it's me, I'm the one, I've got to do this. I'm the one that's going to turn this around. So I got some roadblocks here. It's not easy for me. But ultimately, I know that these roadblocks, these obstacles, this opposition won't stop me from doing what I want to do. It can temporarily cripple me or make it inconvenient. But it won't stop me. It will not determine my reality. And yes, it's going to be hard. Yes, it's going to be rough. Yes, it's going to take every bit of your energy and push you harder than you ever thought possible. But if your reason for doing this is strong enough, you can make it through this. Because I know every single one of you is tougher than whatever problems you face. They're not bigger than you. They're not tougher than you. And as you overcome each and every one of these challenges, you won't be worn down by them. No, they will sharpen you into a stronger, more resilient weapon to take on any mission that stands in your way of victory. I want you to look in the mirror every damn day and say, I am proud of you. I believe in you. You can do anything you want. You are powerful. You say, if it's hard, then I'll do it hard. I won't allow this to stop me. I don't have the option of easy, and I don't think any of us do. Going around trying to find a little dream that doesn't require much responsibility or not too stressful or won't be too much of a hassle. No. All you need to do to get out in the arena of life is to affirm to yourself, I can make it. Every day, every moment you push forward, you're saying to the world and to yourself, it's possible. In spite of rejection, in spite of failure, you keep moving because you know that this moment, this day, could be the turning point. When negative voices try to drag you down, you fight back. You don't just ignore those voices, you confront them. You declare them liars because you know your worth, your capabilities, your resilience. You gotta shut down every voice that says you can't. That's about not just ignoring negativity, but actively rejecting it. It's a conscious decision to not let those toxic thoughts take root in your mind. I need you to talk back to those voices and tell them, you're spewing lies. You're wrong about me. I am stronger than this. I am tougher than this. I will overcome this. Live your life now. Live your dreams now. You got to say yes to your life. Yes. Yes to my dreams. Yes to me. I can make it. It doesn't matter how many failures I've made. It doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. It doesn't matter about my defeats. It doesn't matter about what I've done. As long as I believe and hold the vision firmly in my mind, I can bring it into reality. Sometimes life will happen to you and you won't have time to say no. You won't have time to think that you can't do it. The only time you will have is to act, to take the leap of faith. Trust yourself and know within yourself that everything is going to be all right. If you want to make your dream become reality, the people that are running at their dreams know that it's possible that you can live your dream. That it's necessary that you're relentless, that you have a plan of action, that you are creative. The people that are living their dream of finding winners to attach themselves to. The people that are living their dreams of a people that know if it's going to happen, it's up to them. The people that are running after their dream know they're going to have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I'm the one, I'm the one. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. The people that are running after their dreams are the people that are hungry and they're resolving within themselves, it's not over until I win. When you're uncommon, get ready for the criticism. When you're uncommon, get ready for the opposition. When you're uncommon, get ready for the common people not to understand you. When you're uncommon, have uncommon ways. Get ready for people to try and block you and conspire against you. 
Never allow anybody to make you feel bad about being so blessed when you've worked your off to get it. You decided all the clubs, partying, hanging out, and all that shit, that ain't for me. I'm gonna be out here running in the hot sun, practicing, playing basketball, shooting on weekends while everybody else is clubbing and hanging out. You got your focus right. You see me in my Rolls Royce, private planes, rooftop hotel, five, six star lifestyle. I've worked my off to have it. And you can keep all your little slick comments to yourself. Cause guess what? I don't remember the last time I lost sleep over a hater. Shut the noise out. Embrace the fact that people don't like you. It means you're doing something right. Develop the interior core where it doesn't matter if people call you crazy. One of the things limiting you from your income, your impact, a world-class life. You care too much about what people think about you. Everyone has an opinion. Why let the opinions of other people deny you from a life that will make history? Don't expect people to understand you. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go, why you leave. This is a good job. I'm going. They pay you well. I'm going. Why? I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me because I've made a different kind of commitment with my life. This is something I have got to do. You've got to focus on you. You've got to convince yourself every day, selling yourself on your ability to perform a job, to achieve a certain objective, telling yourself every day, here I go again, and I got what it takes. This is my day, and nothing out here is going to stop me. Don't allow that inner doubt in you to talk you out of it, to build a case on why you can't have it, to tell you why you're not good enough. You ignore that inner voice and all of the external voices. Don't judge the possibilities for what you can do based upon the circumstances because the circumstances won't determine who you are. Don't determine what you're able to do based upon your resources. Don't determine what's possible for you based upon where your life is right now. Where your life is right now is not you. That's just what it is right now. If you're coming back from adversity and devastation, it's unlimited of what you can do. You are powerful. You direct the power in your life. Whatever your life is right now, it is a duplication of your consciousness. It's a result of how you have decided to use your power. And you've got the power to change that. But you don't know what has happened to me. It really doesn't matter what has happened to you. The only thing that really matters is what are you going to do about it? I can become upset, nervous, weak about it, or I can say it's okay. If it becomes hard, then do it hard. But many must just stop dead in our tracks. I don't know what to do. You do know what to do. You've got genius in you. Challenge yourself. Push yourself. Make yourself come up with something. See, the universe responds to the man or woman that refuses to be denied. Because that is your commitment, that business that you want, that dream that you have of controlling your destiny, that is yours, that's available to you, but you've got to be willing to stand there and face disappointment, not have support, be lonely, doubt yourself sometimes, be rejected again and again and again, and refuse to turn around until life gives it up. Nothing can resist a person that has that kind of commitment. It's lonely. You will be laughed at. People will call you crazy. You will be misunderstood. It's going to get rough. It's going to be very challenging. Whenever you decide that you want to grow, whenever you decide that you want to go to another level, all will break loose. That goes with it. That goes with the territory. That when you want to grow, when you want to achieve, when you want to experience more, everything that can happen will happen. In the middle of all that chaos, you got to remember, that it's those low moments that will define who you really are. The true character of a person is shown when your back is up against the wall. These are the moments that separate the successful from everybody else. You know what you gotta do to get to paradise? You gotta fight like to get to paradise. Paradise starts. It's the ones that can fight, the ones that come back, those are the ones that succeed. See, whenever you decide you want to go to another level, you've got to fasten your psychological, your mental, and your spiritual seatbelt because you're going to experience some turbulence when you're going up. 
And some of you are already experiencing that turbulence. Don't be frightened by that. You've got to go through this phase here. This is how you grow. This is how you develop. See, life is like a roller coaster. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. Sometimes things go well, and sometimes they don't go well. But in the down moments, that's when you discover who you are. In this prosperous time, you put it in your pocket. In the lean times, you put it in your heart. This is necessary for you to get where you want to go. And if you quit, if you falter, if you stop, all the pain will be for nothing. You cannot get to success without suffering, sweating, sacrificing, staying locked in and fighting your way through tears and trials and tests. But many of you think that greatness goes on sale, but true quality never goes on sale. It costs what it costs and you gotta pay the price. There are no discounts to success, only grind, only perseverance, only sweat, blood, and tears. It ain't no shame in thinking about quit. It ain't no shame in getting tired. But the trick is, don't let that thought become a reality. Say to yourself, I gotta rethink it and get this thought out of my mind. Why? Because the shame is in quit. And I'm telling you, I know you're in a storm, and I know it hurts, and I know you don't want to take it anymore. The ship is being overthrown with water right now. Your family seems like it's drowning at this moment. Your dreams look like you're seeing them from underwater. Whatever storm you found yourself in today, don't give up. You have not seen the best days of your life yet. As you step into it, awkward and uncomfortable, as you move toward it, as you keep moving toward it, as you keep believing, keep trusting, keep coming, keep digging, keep going, keep flowing, keep showing up. Just keep holding on with everything floating around you. Keep holding on to the peace that you got. See, there's some people in this room right now that you need to hear this loud and clear. You need to get this in your spirit because I don't know what you're walking through, but some of you right now, you are in a tough season. An event has happened and something's happened and maybe you have failed. But I want to remind you that failure is not final, it's formative. It is part of the process. It's part of the journey. Your failure matters as much as your success. How do you think you're going to grow if you don't ever fail? Yet some of you have failed and you have decided, well, guess what? I'm a failure. No, failure is an event. It is never a person. Failure is actually fuel for your future. The way that you grow, the way that you advance, you have to fail in order to succeed. If you do not give up, if you fight back, you can beat it. I know you have that warrior inside. And now I just need you to activate it. This thing will not be true. You might be one phone call away. You might be one opportunity away. You might be one second away from your entire life blowing up. And you will never ever know if this was your moment, if this was your destiny, if this was your time if you quit. So don't you ever give up on me. You keep fighting and you keep striving. I don't care what it is. I don't care how many times you've had to cry yourself to sleep. I don't care how difficult it is. Don't you dare give up now. Because whatever is over you defines you. And whatever defines you limits you. You better put some strength in your back, plant your feet, square your shoulders, and stand up to it. Stand when it's uncertain. Stand when it doesn't feel good. Stand when it's controversial. Stand when it doesn't seem to be happening. Stand on what you know when you can't trust what you see. Don't you dare sit down. Don't you dare crumble under the weight of it. Don't you dare give in because of the nature of it. Don't you dare go home and raise the white flag of surrender. This is not your season to die. This is not your season to quit. There's joy, there's peace, there's breakthrough, but you'll never see it if you don't stand up to it. The reason most people fail is because they give up what they want most for what they want now. So often the easy path, the easy path that calls to us to be weak for that moment, to break down for that moment, to give in to the desire and the short-term gratification. But the discipline will not allow that. Discipline means taking the hard road, the uphill road to do what's right. Discipline is doing what you said you were gonna do when you don't feel like doing it when you felt like doing it in the first place. That's all it is. When you fell in love with it, you were just like, let's go, let's go, let's go. But then stuff's gonna happen. Discipline means that you dominate when you feel like it and you dominate when you don't feel like it. 
The discipline calls for strength and fortitude and will. It won't accept weakness. It won't tolerate another breakdown. The discipline can seem like it's your worst enemy. But the reality is, discipline is your best friend. It will take care of you like nothing else can. It's so easy to put things off. So easy to say, you're gonna do it tomorrow. Well, I want you to reprogram your brain and tell yourself that tomorrow is not a viable option. Tomorrow doesn't work. You do it today. You get it done today. That's what you do. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Ain't no such thing as tomorrow. We only got today. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. You've got to outwork, outlast, and outperform the person you were yesterday, becoming better than your past self. When you continue to do that day after day after day, you're unstoppable. You're on a relentless pursuit of excellence. And the only way to get to that point is by disciplining yourself every single day of your life, no matter what. If you don't improve your skill, if you don't do everything you can, if you don't stop cutting corners, stop taking it easy, stop letting that little voice win the war in your brain that says, tomorrow, I'll start Monday. It's not that big of a deal. Give yourself a break. You work really hard. You deserve this. If you don't silence that voice, you will lose everything. No compromise, no exceptions ever. That's the test you have to pass in order to earn your way into the life that you desire. It's an opportunity to prove to everyone else, but most importantly, yourself, what you are really made of. It's an opportunity to prove that you're a winner. It's an opportunity to prove you are what you say you are in your head when you look in the mirror. When you look in the mirror and you say, there goes a, you actually believe it. I know you're great and I dare you to be great. I challenge you to be great. I challenge you to be great in every single thing you do. You gotta learn to close your ears to everybody. You gotta learn to close your ears to everything. You gotta learn to block out the distractions and you gotta learn to get focused, all right? Discipline is you do it so long and so hard and you're so passionate about it that even when you don't feel like it, you still operate at the highest level. Embrace the process, trust the process, but most importantly, you gotta respect the process. Talent will never supersede it. Nothing great comes from a position of comfort. Everything worthwhile. Every Everything that is great comes from being uncomfortable. And if you can get used to being uncomfortable, your limits are non-existent. It's easier to watch greatness. It's easier to go see greatness than it is to put in the time, to put in the energy, to discipline yourself, to sacrifice. It's easier. And so that's why you average. And so you frustrate it because you're not living like you should live. You can't stay where you are and go where you're trying to go. Many of you, you love your comfort zone too much. You love it. You love security too much. And I'm telling you, you can stay where you are. You can. But you can't stay where you are and try to go where you're going. You have to do the things that you don't feel like doing because you know it needs to be done. I need you to look at yourself in the mirror and say, come on, quit, stop playing. I deserve to see what my life would look like if I gave 120%. I made my last excuse yesterday. I came up with my last reason yesterday of why I can't do what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I don't feel so good today. Get your lazy sick out of bed. Your only commitment is to the activity, not to the grand scheme, not to the big picture. It's to do the thing. Everything that's keeping you from doing what you're supposed to do, I need you to put it behind you and say, yesterday was the last day for that foolishness. Yesterday was the last day to say, I don't have enough money to do this. I don't have what it takes. I'm not smart enough. No more defeats. No more defeats, man. You can do it. You can make it happen, but you can't do it procrastinate. All I want you to do is what you said you were going to do. I want you to stop talking about it. I want you to stop telling people about it and get it done. Whether you feel like it or not. When challenges and issues come back to back to back to back and it seems like something is after me, something is attacking me, something is attacking my journey, a setback is a setup for the greatest blessings of all times. How you handle rejection determines whether you will be successful in life. 
Do you know what rejection does to self-esteem? Do you understand how personal this is? Because it's not just that the door is closed. The closing of the door says you ain't no man. You ain't no man. You ain't nothing. And this is a crisis. And it brings up every negative thing that has ever been said about you in your whole life. When crises strike in your life, and in the Chinese language, crisis means danger, but it also means opportunity. You get to make a choice. Is failure going to break you? Or is failure going to make you? You get to decide failure does it. It's not in falling that makes us failures. It's in not getting up that makes us failures. And you get to decide if you get up or you don't get up. Stay the course. You listening? Stay the course. Get off the pity party. Stop running around here feeling sorry for yourself. Like you're the victim. Be more responsible for your choices. You're not a victim, you're a victor. And the only thing stands between your success, the only thing stands from you doing what you know you've been called to do. The only thing is you. Nobody can't stop you. You're the only person that can stop you. So stop talking like a victim. Stop thinking like a victim. Stop acting like a victim. And walk into your destiny. Walk into your destiny, bruh. Walk into it. You've got to learn how to become resourceful. You've got to learn how to become creative. Things are going to get harder. Things are going to get tougher. It's the way life works. So what you need to do is you need to get harder and you need to get tougher. All you do is you fall down, get back up again, fall down, get back up again, fall down, get back up again. That's how you win. We're going to take setbacks. We're going to take some defeats from time to time in our lives. And when that happens, what that actually does and what that actually should do is make your vision clear. Make your mission clear. It's a mindset, and if you change your mindset, mindset is important because we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we use to create them. You gotta change the way you think. All you need to do is change your thinking and you change your world. You don't need to change anything else. The difference between the weak and the strong is that when the strong have no more left, they fight, they fight, they fight. The weak, they quit. They give up, they give in, they surrender, they retreat, and there's nothing weak about you. His life is relentless. You better keep coming back from all your failures, all your doubts, all your sh You better keep fighting, keep keeping up. You are a warrior, and it's time for you to fight. Weakness will not be in my heart. No one will deny me. No one will define me. And no one will tell me who and what I am and can be. Defeat, retreat, those are not in my words. I don't understand these definitions. But I do understand this. I understand victory and I understand never surrendering. Because no matter how bad things go, my heart and my mind will carry my body when my limbs are too weak. Who am I? I am a champion. History will remember me, and no one will tell me what I can and cannot be. I will never give up, not knowing I've given everything I've got. Because who am I? I'm a champion. This is not the time to tap out. If you do not give up, if you do not give in, if you fight back, you can beat it. You can beat it. I know you can beat it. You can get through this. You can get on the other side of it. But you can't wish your way out of it. You can't want your way out of it. You can't talk your way out of it. You got to fight your way out of it. And I know you have what it takes. I know you have that warrior inside. And now I just need you to activate it. I need you to bring it to life. This thing will not beat you. You're bigger than this thing. I may be crying, but I'm going to keep on walking. I may be hurting, but I'm going to keep on walking. I don't know how long I have to walk. I don't care if it's another seven days and another 90 miles. I've come too far to give up now. Walk when you don't know where you're going. Walk when you don't see your way clear. Walk when your heart is broken. Walk when you're under distress. Walk when you run out of money. Walk when your friends betray you. Walk when they lie on you. Walk when what you imagine doesn't happen. If you fight and do not give up, if you fight and do not surrender, if you fight and you do not deal, if you fight and do not break, you will break that thing that's coming up against you. And victory is on the other side. Most people, ladies and gentlemen, are stoppable. Most people, all you have to do is tell them no. 
All you have to do is make it inconvenient for them. All you have to do is throw some issues and challenges their way. And they give up. They throw in the towel. They surrender. See, those people don't realize that it goes with the territory. That when you want to grow, when you want to achieve, when you want to experience more, all hell will break loose. Everything that can happen will happen. It's one thing to believe when you've got money in your pocket. It's one thing to believe when your marriage is working out and you've got your health. It's easy to believe then. But it's another thing when you get that diagnosis that says you're not going to be around much longer. When you lose your job, when someone you thought you'd be with for the rest of your life says, no, we can't do this anymore. That's when you have to dig deep. That's when you got to find something within you that won't be denied. There is something about you. There is a power within you that regardless of what happens to you, you can stand up inside of yourself and declare, I am going to do it. You got to get to the point in your life where you say, I have had it. I'm not going to live like this anymore. No, there's got to be more for me. You got to draw the line. You got to say enough is enough and I'm not going to let anything stop me. Don't go through life feeling like you're powerless. Victims are people that are powerless. You're not powerless. You're not a victim. You are powerful. In the chaos is an opportunity. If you can learn to harness the pain you're going through, you can rise to the challenge and refuse to allow the chaos around you to determine the conqueror within you. Resisting the toe to go down and standing fiercely in spite of the opposition and saying, I'm going to do it anyway, but you don't know what's happened to me. It doesn't matter what has happened to you. The only thing that really matters is what are you going to do about it? I can become upset, nervous, tense about it, weak about it, or I can say, it's okay, I'm going to make it happen. You can allow it to destroy you or you can allow it to build you up. You have the power to do that. Things are going to happen to you. And the most important thing to do is to harness your will and let it go and move so you can grow, so you can get on with your life. Start working and developing yourself now and prepare yourself for what it is that you want because you expect to get it. Courageously hold on to your dream and don't lose enthusiasm. You gotta be out of your mind to believe. In spite of these numbers, you can still make it. You gotta be crazy. Yes, you must be crazy. The crazy people are the only ones who change the world and do the impossible. You gotta believe in your heart of hearts that in spite of the pain you're feeling, you can still come back again. It doesn't matter how many times I fail. I'm going to courageously pursue it. I don't care what people say. I don't care what they think. This is something that I want that gives my life meaning and value. You've got to learn how not to give up and how not to give in. And you've got to understand that greatness is within you and you've got to pull it out. When life's putting the pressure on you, you have to learn to bolt every escape hatch closed in your mind and don't allow yourself a way out. You've got to find a way or make a way. It's okay to cry. It's okay to go home. It's okay to take a break. But quitting should never be an option. The weakness is in your mind. Out to worry you to death. Out to stress you to death. Out to break you down. Out to make you quit. Out to make you think that you can't get up. Out to make you give up on your dream. The war takes place in your own head. It's not in your savings account. It's not in your job. The fight that you've got to fight is in your mind. And if you can get it out of your head, you can get it out of your job. You can get it out of your finances. You can get all the self-pitying and victimizing thoughts out of your entire life. If you don't like where you're at, don't worry about it. This is just a chapter. Don't like how you feel right now? It's okay. It's just a chapter. Why are you up all night, stressed, worried, and weeping over one chapter in your life? This isn't the end of your story. The last chapter of your life hasn't been written yet. You still have more to go. You can still turn things around. And it doesn't matter what happened yesterday or the day before. What matters is what are you doing right now to make your life better? What steps are you taking right now to improve yourself and your situation? We can't control what has happened, but we can control what we do now. You have full control over yourself and your ability to work on yourself and get better at whatever you're doing. The difficulties you're facing right now aren't there to stop you from living your dream. They're there to push you onto another level. They will help make you into the person you want to be. 
Don't run away from the hardship like most people do. Step toward it, face it head on, and be willing to wrestle with it to get what you want. This world is always going to give you scars, and that's nothing to be ashamed of. Many people try to hide their scars. No, you should wear those scars as a badge of honor. They show what you've overcame, what you've faced and beaten, because only the toughest people make it through to the other side where success is. And you are tough. You are cut from a different cloth. And you got to see yourself capable and worthy of living a life of greatness, a life of peace. Say to yourself, I'm going to do it. I'm coming out of this. I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't know what I'm going to have to go through. I don't know what I'm going to lose along the way. But I am going to make it through this. I've been broke, busted, and disgusted. But I still believe that I am coming out of this mess. No matter what it takes, I'm going to do it. What is the common denominator of failure? Why are you failing? You never say because of me. Oh, it's the competition. If you wake up tomorrow morning and blame your failure on someone or something else, you have no reason to change, do you? But if you woke up in the morning and looked in the mirror and said, I am failing because of me, the decisions that I make, the energy I put in, I'm not passing the blame. If you look in the mirror tomorrow and say that, you will change. Because nobody likes thinking of themselves as a failure. Winners win and losers lose. And if you create a culture of losing, if you keep being a victim, if you keep letting losing happen to you, if you keep letting people do you and treat you any kind of way, it's going to become a culture. Take ownership. Take ownership of everything in your world, the good and the bad. Don't make excuses. Don't blame any other person or any other thing. Take ownership of your mistakes. Take ownership of your shortfalls. Take ownership of your problems. And then take ownership of the solutions that will get those problems solved. Take ownership of your job, of your team, of your future, and take ownership of your life. All I need you to do is speak up and say, I expect to win. Declare that it's over, that yesterday was the last day that you were a loser. Like yesterday was the last day you expected to come up short. When you set out for a goal, expect it to happen. Expect to be successful. Expect it to be positive. If you can expect it, if you can wake up feeling like a winner, if you can wake up talking like a winner, if you can expect that everything you do will come out winning, I guarantee you, you never ever have to come up short again. It's not easy, but through practice and practice and practice, practice makes improvement. You can always better your best. You can always go beyond anything that you have ever done. You never hit a state of perfection. You're always bigger than what you do. And so all you're looking for are new breakthroughs through practice and practice and practice. You'll get better and better and better. It might be year two, three, four before you get your big win, but you could decide now, I'm gonna walk, talk, and be a different person. You decide that. You're the lead character in the story of your life. Everything has to do with you intending to win. Too many of you are playing with your business. If you make that shift, I'm going to win. We're gonna play to win now. We're not playing to play. We're not playing to see how we do. We're not playing for fun. Once you start getting some winning, you start changing. You talk different, you walk different. All of a sudden, this isn't the same damn human being. You can change you. You'd be surprised what a little winning would do. You'd be surprised how good you'd be if you just decide to win. Be number one in your office, number one in your region. And when you start stacking them up, your life can change. Why are things like they are? Some of you have been through enough stress that you shouldn't have lost your mind. Don't think it's strange when things happen to you. Because the truth of the matter is, every man, every woman, every boy, every girl will go through a time where your faith must stand trial. If we can just stand for every trial, there's going to be a glory. And if you just stand, I know it's hard on you, but if you just stand, even up under this pressure you're going through, 
if you just stand. When you get to the right place, you're going to look back over your shoulder and you're going to see a miracle. You're stronger than you think you are. You're tougher than you think you are. You can go through more than you think you can. And when the world is against you and beating you down, I need you to get up and prove everyone wrong. All you do is you fall down, get back up again, fall down, get back up again, fall down, get back up again. That's how you win. Things are going to get harder, things are going to get tougher. That's the way life works. So what you need to do is you need to get harder and you need to get tougher. If you can pick yourself up every single time you get knocked down, you can make it. You will never know that you have faith until you're in a good fight. Real faith is proven in the furnace of affliction, in the time of adversity. Even if you're in the middle of a disaster, you can use that disaster for direction. It is through the disaster, it is through the adversity that our strength is developed. You find out things about yourself that you didn't know. I'm stronger than I thought I was. I'm more resilient than I thought I was. Life keeps changing, and as life keeps changing, and circumstances keep changing, you got to be flexible enough to change on a dime and switch this way and turn back this way. And if you don't make the right switch, you find yourself stuck. The thing you need to win is resilience. You can't just keep trying different stuff, different stuff, different stuff, because you can never say something didn't work when you didn't have tried. Greatness takes time. It takes time to build your brand. It takes time to build your life. It takes time to build your career. You got to be prepared to get a thousand no's to get one yes. So stop feeling sorry for yourself over what challenges are thrown at you. This is a part of the process. It is part of the journey. How will you ever grow if you never have any pressure? You should be thanking the universe for putting you through this. Because these problems you're having, these are the greatest opportunities to get stronger. When you're committed, when you're invested, when you're all in, you can't throw in the towel. You can't just walk away. Because you won't quit when you got some skin in the game. You won't just walk away easy. When you don't have nothing invested, it's easy to walk away. See, sometimes some people only want it without struggle. But if you're serious about reeling it in, you have to put some effort. Get up! Compete! Many of y'all are not competing. I need effort. Compete! Many of you have lost your competitive edge. Get your competitive edge back. I don't know how, I don't know when, but I do know that before it's over, I'm coming out of this. There may have to be a sequel. This can't be the end of the movie. I have got to come out of this. This may be a commercial break, but it's not over. Expect me to come back. Expect me to come back. I don't know how, I don't know when, I don't know where, I don't know what I'll have to go through, but expect me to come back. I might look bad today, but expect me to come back. I may be crying right now, but expect me to come back. I may be broke, busted and disgusted, but expect me to come back. I need you to keep fighting. Never stop, never quit. Never allow anybody to talk you out of your vision, your dreams, or your big ideas. You have got to be relentless. Never let your foot off the gas. Never stop. Never quit. Despite all that you're going through right now, you can win. Despite the pain, you can win. Despite all the heartache and pain and discomfort you're feeling right now, you can win. You have what it takes to get through this. You can turn this whole situation around and you can come back better. Life is something that's not happening to you, it's happening for you. All these hard things that you're going up against right now are there to grow you. They're there to push you. They're there to challenge you to rise above and become stronger. You don't grow through easy times. You grow through going up against hard things and pushing against them. They are there to make you better, to make you into a more unstoppable machine. The reason you can't stop is because you might be so close. Wouldn't it be a shame for you to quit when you're this close? Wouldn't it be a shame for you to walk away when you come this far? Wouldn't it be horrible for you to bail out when you're just this close to victory? 
You can't walk by what you see. You can't give up because it doesn't feel good. You can't let people talk you out of it. You can't let your emotions stop you from moving forward. Most people are not living their dreams because of fear, ladies and gentlemen. Fear is the most subtle and destructive of all human diseases. Fear kills dreams. Fear kills hope. Fear put people in the hospital. Fear can age you. Fear, ladies and gentlemen, can hold you back from doing something that you know within yourself that you are capable of doing, but it will paralyze you. And I ask you a question, what is the benefit? What's the benefit of allowing fear to hold you back? What's the benefit of giving up on yourself? Of not stepping out on life and taking life on? What is the benefit for you? What's the plus in that? You got to ask yourself, how long am I going to allow this to hold me back? You don't have as many opportunities in life to take that gamble and allow life to play you. You must play life. You've got to make some conscious effort to begin to work to develop you. Start listening to tapes on a daily basis to begin to recondition your mind, to retrain your thinking. Listen to things that can empower you, that can enable you to create a new reality for yourself and a new life for yourself. You might appear to be strange around most people. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go. Well, I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me. This is something I have got to do. Now, will it be turbulent? Yes. Will it be easy? No. Will you have some opposition? Yes. Will I make a lot of mistakes? Yes. Will I get hurt? Yes. But guess what? There's no gain without pain. When the outcome changes and it's not what we want it to be and it doesn't turn out the way we want it to turn out, do we still value the thing that we once said we value? Is our character still intact? Character is not something we inherit. In the midst of opposition, in the midst of challenges, in the midst of uncertainty, we got to wake up every single day, we got to fight and we got to build it. It's about the sacrifice, the honor, the work, the commitment, love, what you had to go through in order to get to this moment. Being battle tested, the injury, the blood, the sweat, the tears. Everybody can't reach respond and everybody can't recall. The only thing you've got as a man, your character, your integrity, and what you say though, what you say, what it means to you. I'm talking every single rep. I'm talking every opportunity. If there's any fear in your spirit right now, it ain't for you. This for warriors, man. This for soldiers, man. Everybody's got a plan so they can hit in the mouth. So when your plan fails, when you get knocked down on canvas, when everything falls apart in your life, what are you gonna do is only watch it. Stay hard! We have been conditioned to tell ourselves that our hardships are the reason that we can't be what we want to be. When in reality, the hardships that we had are actually the things that teach us the skills and the perspective we need to actually become what we want to be. If you had to choose between having a perfect upbringing and having an upbringing that was extremely hard, you should choose the one that was hard. I'm talking to you guys who still have hope, who still have the fire, who still have the want and the will and the desire to be more and become more. I'm talking to you. You can do this.